Frank Tate upping his record to 6-0. A nice round of applause Calvin for Calvin Prejean. 14-6. Frank Tate with a fourth round technical knockout. And we're getting ready for round number one. The big man in the middle of the ring, referee Joe O'Neill. And we're off in boxing round one from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Franklin Tate with that good left jab immediately gets it out in David Barrow's face. He's got a crisp, crisp, hard left jab. There you saw it doubled up. The manager of Frank Tate, Bob Spagnola, has kept his man active. Turned a professional last December. Then he had one fight in January, another one in February, two in March, and another one in April. And what they've been trying to teach him to do is set everything up with that jab to try to turn the jab, which is good, into a world-class jab, and then drop that right-hand bomb on him. And he can punch with the right hand. Let's not count David Barrows out of it yet. We're still here in round number one. That jab again by Tate. David Barrows away. You can hear from his corner, from Tate's corner, stick the jab in his face. That's exactly what he's doing. Hey, Barrows comes out of the leap frogging across the ring. Nothing connects. For Barrows, they're right above us now. Tate trying to untangle his arms. These guys stack up very, very close in size. Okay. Frank Tate at 5'11", maybe 5'11 and a half. He's got a 29-inch Randy's reach advantage. That's that jabbing arm. David Barrow is only 5'10", but he has a longer reach. He has a 30 and a half inch jab. He should be using it against Frank Tate, who's just getting in with his own jab. He's got about an inch and a half longer jab, draw longer reach. Actually, it's exactly the reach. The Randy's reach, I take it. I make them extend their jabbing arm, and I take it right from their chin down the jabbing arm to their knuckle, the middle knuckle. Overhand right by Tate, caught David Barrows. Now, as you said, Barrows should be using that longer reach to keep Tate away, but it's working in reverse. Tate is the man throwing the jab. Tate with a right hand lead there did not connect very solidly. We're down under 30 seconds in round number one of a scheduled six round middleweight contest. And round number one has been a battle of jabs. One at this point I would think by Frank Tate. Yes, but not by much. And we are in the final round of this middleweight contest. A reminder, Frank Tate in the red trucks out of Houston. David Barrow, the gold trucks, now training and living in Philadelphia. Good, popping left. Tate still's got power and sting on that left jab, Randy. He certainly does, but right now you see him box, slip, and move a little bit. I think in the corner, trainer Jesse Reed told him, don't get careless here, you're way ahead, don't hang your chin out, don't get hit with a Hail Mary sucker shot. I don't think you can have it because looking at the last two rounds, I don't think Barrow has any strength left. I mean, knockout strength. Well, that shows you right there. He took a nice clean shot at the body, and there's really nothing on it. It was like the way you punched that waitress today. Just nothing on it at all. Um, it was better than giving her a tip. Tate, Tate, I think, would like to take him out. Now, right. Barrow came back with a good right, but there was nothing on it. Absolutely nothing at all. It's just an arm punch. Good left, right by Tate. I'm surprised Barrow's still standing, though he's holding on. Frank Tate looks very, very annoyed, but I'm sure at the end of the fight he's going to be happy that he's gone the distance because in there he's learning something right now. You can't knock everybody out in a round or two and hope to become a solid, experienced professional. you got to run into the barrels of this world. Good right. Good right. 
well, if Barrow is going to go down, there was the perfect punch. Frank had to twist into it a little bit more. It was a little bit too much of an arm punch, but still, at this point, I think that a shot like that would send Barrow down. This is a tough kid. He told me before the fight, I'm in great shape, and you're seeing it. That was the best punch he's thrown the whole fight. Overhand right, that caught Tate. That happens to be a super punch, I think, against Frank Tate, who extends that jab sometimes, has a bad habit of leaving it out there. And overhand right is a good shot against him. Tate is getting very annoyed by the grabbing of David Barrow. Look how Tate is loading up on that right hand. There he goes. And a right-left combination puts Barrow down. Well, it wasn't the right hand, I believe it was the left hook, and then a right hand. Big thing. Now, the crowd, let's see how they react. Are they going to move the barrel to go to distance? Now, he's trying to hold on to go to distance. It's down, you see the, the time in the corner of your screen. David Barrow, I think, is going to go to distance. Well, there's still 10 seconds to go. You can be saved by the bell here in New Jersey, only in the last round, and this is the last round. So, there will be no knockout. Here it is. It's history. David Barrow has gone the distance against Frank Tate. I don't think there's a question in the world. I think we can Frank all Tate do has won this battle. For his seventh straight win in his